Ningguang is a classy 4-star Geo Catalyst user who is mainly used as either an on-field DPS or a quick swap unit. She can deal massive single target damage at range, and her kit allows her to swap off to allow other characters to deal damage. This allows her to utilize strong off-field DPS units like Beidou and Xingqiu. However, Ningguang's kit has its drawbacks. Her almost non-existent AoE holds her back when faced with multiple enemies. She also benefits massively from Geo Resonance, which essentially ties her to Zhongli or Albedo, two limited 5-star units, to reach her full DPS potential. Lastly, she can't benefit from reactions apart from Crystallize and Shatter, both of which are mediocre reactions. Ningguang's normal attack talent is Sparkling Scatter. Her normal attack summons two Jades and launches them at the enemy, homing in on them if they are within range. If either of these Jades hit a target, Ningguang will gain a Star Jade, up to a maximum of three. The number of Star Jades she possesses is indicated by the orbiting Jades behind her, which will disappear when Ningguang leaves the field. When she performs a charged attack, she will launch a large projectile at an enemy alongside all held Star Jades. This will consume no stamina provided she is holding a Star Jade. Ningguang's elemental skill is Jade Screen, which summons a large screen as a Geo Construct. The screen will deal AoE damage to nearby enemies and block incoming projectiles for 30 seconds or until it is destroyed. Walking through the screen grants her a 10 second Geo damage bonus. Ningguang's elemental burst is Star Shatter. When used, she will summon 6 gems which will home in on enemies, dealing massive damage. If a Jade screen is on the field when Ningguang's burst is used, the screen will destroy itself and summon 6 additional gems so it's extremely important to set up a Jade screen before using Ningguang's burst. Ningguang can be played in two ways, as an on-field DPS and as a quick swap DPS. As an on-field DPS, Ningguang spends most of her field time utilizing her normal and charged attacks, while using her elemental burst and skills whenever possible. Because this playstyle relies heavily on Ningguang's normal and charged attacks, her normal attack talent should be leveled first, followed by her elemental burst, then her elemental skill. Ningguang's best weapon as an on-field DPS is Memory of Dust for its high attack increase. Her best 4-star option is tied between the Widsith and Solar Pearl for their crit substats and respective buffs. Her best free-to-play option is Dodoku Tails for its attack percent substat, as well as normal and charged attack damage bonus. Ningguang's best artifact set for this playstyle is the combination of the 2-piece Archaic Petra set and the 2-piece Gladiator's Finale set. The two-piece Noblesse Oblige set is a good alternative to the two-piece Gladiator's Finale set. The main stats to prioritize are Attack Percent on the Sands, Geo Damage on the Goblet, and Crit on the Circlet. As for substats, Ningguang mainly wants Crit Percent and Attack Percent. Playing Ningguang as a quick swap DPS consists of her using her burst and skill off cooldown, then swapping to other units. This playstyle is very flexible, as it allows Ningguang to synergize well with various characters to help cover her lack of AoE damage. Because this playstyle relies on Ningguang's burst and her skill to deal quick damage, her elemental burst should be leveled first, followed by her elemental skill. Her normal attack is less important for this playstyle. If Ningguang is at Constellation 6, her elemental burst should be leveled first, then her normal attack, then her elemental skill. Ningguang's best catalyst as a quick swap DPS is Skyward Atlas for its large amount of attack and elemental damage bonus. Her best 4-star catalyst for this playstyle is Solar Pearl, and her best free-to-play option is Dodoko Tales. Ningguang's best artifact set as a quick swap DPS is the combination of 2-piece Archaic Petra set and the 2-piece Noblesse Oblige set. The main stats for quick swap Ningguang are Attack on the Sands, Geo Damage on the Goblet, and Crit Percent on the Circlet. As for the substats, she benefits greatly from Crit Percent and Attack Percent. Energy Recharge is also a strong substat for quick swap Ningguang. Now that you know how to build Ningguang, let's talk about some teams you can use her in. Ningguang's team compositions are quite flexible, even though she wants to have Geo Resonance active. She can pair well with off-field DPS characters such as Beidou, Xingqiu, or Zhang Ling. Ningguang can be also teamed with buffers or shielders such as Bennett, Diona, or Zhang Li. When it comes to team compositions, Sustained and Quick Swap are very similar in terms of which role fills each slot. The difference lies in the rotations for each playstyle. An example team is Ningguang Taser, which is composed of Ningguang, Beidou, Fischl, and Xingqiu. In this team, Ningguang is the on-field DPS who uses normal and charged attacks to proc the off-field DPS unit's damage. Beidou provides some survivability and tremendous off-field damage that can help resolve Ningguang's AoE issue. Xingqiu provides more off-field damage and survivability, and Fischl provides energy for Beidou and even more off-field damage. 
In quick swap teams, Ningguang prefers to be teamed with other units with low cooldown skills and bursts in order to deal large amounts of damage using elemental skills and bursts. One example is Ningguang, Albedo, Venti, and Bennett. In this team, Ningguang casts her burst and skill off cooldown to deal large amounts of damage and generate energy for herself and Albedo. Albedo provides off-field damage and a large chunk of burst damage. Venti provides damage and crowd control that makes both Ningguang and Albedo more effective, and Bennett provides healing and buffs. Overall, Ningguang is a very powerful DPS who excels at single target damage. Her very selfless playstyle allows for various combinations and has more freedom in rotations. Although her lack of AoE damage leaves a lot to be desired and at times feels underwhelming, her flexibility allows other units to cover her weaknesses to form powerful synergies. Thanks for watching this quick guide. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. If you would like to see more quick guides and other informative content in the future, subscribe to the channel.